Up next, we have the last team in a preview. The Chicago Bears. Bear down. Bear down. <laughs> now, I was boots on the ground. I saw their preseason game against the Buffalo Bills um, a couple weeks back. And I can tell you from first look, when the first time I saw this picture here of Visor Andy, I was like, oh, man, this is a new Andy doll. And this guy is recreated. He's got the visor. He's got the beard. He is going to have the best season of his career. I was ready for Visor Andy, a whole new Andy. Um, seeing him live in the net game, he looks like the same Andy Dalton. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's he, not look good there. And the offense line was just as bad as it was last year for the Bears. The play calling was just as all over the place and disorganized as it was last year. Um, Matt, do you think this pre? Obviously, we don't want to read too much in the preseason, but these preseason struggles look awful lot like the regular season struggles. Is this going to translate over the regular season? Uh, it will because Andy Dalton's draft profile was literally spot on. Whoever uh, came out with that was an absolute genius because his liabilities have been his shortcomings in the NFL. And um, I personally believe Andy Dalton should start week one because of thousands of different reasons, but uh, I wasn't going to use this for the show originally, but I saw a graphic the other day that's, that showed the list of quarterbacks that sat out or that did not start week one. And like, of course, Deshaun Watson came in at halftime of his first game. And then it showed like Pat Mahomes sitting out for a year. And then it showed like all those quarterbacks. And then over in the column of um, rookie starters, it showed Joe Burrow, Sam Darnold, but just a bunch of names that are like, like so far, Joe Burrow's second year, we're waiting to see what, what he does. I'm rooting for him. I'm big fan of him. Yes. But as far as Sam Darnold goes, having him on that list should show you that it doesn't always work out. Sam Darnold was high on everyone's radar coming into the NFL. And now he's on a completely different team and we're going to see where he goes with that. But um it seems like the best strategy is to let your young quarterback learn the NFL, no matter how bad the starter is in front of you. Now, yeah. Pat Mahomes had Aaron Smith or Alex Smith in front of him. So that kind of helps because uh, Al Alex Smith can hold his own. Yeah, he also Alex had Andy Smith had the best season of his career before Mahomes yeah. stepped in. <laughs> and then, um, I mean, Deshaun Watson had, I think, Matt Schaub starting in front of him. So that's why he started week one. But I'm pretty like Andy sure Dalton, it was someone random like Tom Savage or something. Like someone. he had a terrible quarterback in front of him. But if you look Andy's at the list, it's Andy will get you a few wins. You can't rely on him. They have the pieces to give Andy what he should have had in Cincinnati. A good defense, a good receiving core. Shaky offensive line. They can get somewhat by with that. Um, cause we watched him do terrible things to the Packers last year and week one, or was that two years ago? I don't know. They did. They compete every year. It seems like, and then it's like Trubisky was the reason why they didn't get over that hump. Now, if you run the ball a little bit more, throw shorter throws and then open up the deep pass, Andy Dalton's your guy for that. Mm -hmm. And then if Andy Dalton struggles, go ahead and throw Justin Fields in. But you don't want to throw him in against Aaron Donald and Jalen Ramsey and in L.A. <laughs> in their stadium with the first time having fans in that stadium. It's just not going to be a very good recipe. You're literally going to shake that dude's confidence, and he's not going to play well the rest of the year, and the entire city is going to be on his back, and he's not going to play there, and then it's going to be all downhill from there. So, like, you have to look ahead on what the long-term effects are going to be of starting him in week one. Yeah, absolutely. I agree. Um, they should definitely take their time with it. Um, let's see how this team looks in the regular season. Um, definitely, you know, David Montgomery's back at running back. He was the ball carrier last year. Obviously, everyone behind them pretty much sucked because Cohen got hurt. Um, Cohen still not back. I'm not sure no. when he will be back. Um, they added Damian Williams. He looked awful in the preseason game that I went to. He fumbled once and got nowhere on all his carries, but that team just looked disjointed from the start. So I don't know what to read into that. Um, the defense definitely will be solid as always, but um, there's definitely been some transition at corner and they're just trying to figure that one out. 
Oh, and something we didn't get to um, notate uh, on our previous show, the Raiders tried to trade for Cleo Mack to get him back. Like, <laughs> the Raiders tried to see if they could get Mack back. Like, why would the Bears ever return that phone call? Like, that's just dumb. Yeah, the the Bears, Bears are in win now mode. It's Matt Nagy's job. Like, if they don't win this season, he's gone. Yeah, Ryan absolutely. Pace is probably gone. Yeah, although he Ryan Pace <laughs> has done a halfway decent job building that defense and building that roster, getting those players in. Mm-hmm. But he's on the hot seat too. Yeah. Sorry, Raiders. You cannot um, make a comeback from your mistake. 